welcome to this eighth wall tutorial where I will take a 3D model, animate it with Mixmo and bring it into an eighth wall joystick project. Here, I have a robot in a T-pose that will export as an FBX for Mixamo, as Mixamo only takes FBX and OBJ file types. Next, we'll head over to Mixamo.com. Here it shows a bunch of characters and or animations you can choose from. We'll start by uploading our character by clicking the Upload Character button. We can then drag and drop the robot.fbx file we exported from Blender. This will show a viewer of your model. Make sure everything looks correct. We'll click Next and be brought to the Auto Rigger. Here, you can place all the positions according to your model. I placed the chin, and now I'll place the wrist. Since we're in symmetric mode, it'll correspond to the other side of the model. I'll place elbows next, knees, and then finally groin. After you're done, click Next, and Mixamo will auto-rig your character. It'll get a viewer after you're done. Once you've selected Next, you'll be in the Mixamo animation. Here, you can select a library of different type of animations for your character. I want to choose a walking animation as I'll be bringing this into a joystick project. I like this one. I like to view it in place. This way it's easier to view the animation. Now I can download the model with the animation rigged to it. Make sure it's an FBX file, include the skin, and we'll change it to 24 FPS as this is best for Blender. We'll download the model. Next, I want to look for an idle animation for my 3D model. I'll take this happy idle animation. I'll download this with the same settings as the original one. Now we can head back into Blender and import one of our FBX. Here I imported the Happy Idle FBX file. You can see when I play the animations. Now what I want to do is head to the bottom menu and head to Nonlinear Animation. This is where the happy idle animation is set. I want to make sure to push down action on that animation to make room for another animation later. I'll now input the other FBX file of the walking animation. I'll import into this into the scene and you'll see that we have two rigged animated 3D models. We want to try to combine this into one single model with two different animation clips. So we'll add a track to the first rig. We'll click Shift A to add the walking animation to this rig. Now you can see we have one single rig that includes both animations. We can get rid of the second rig that we imported. Now we have a single rig with both animations ready for export. You can double check by unchecking and checking the action editor. Here we see the idle animation. You can also rename these animations on the left side by double clicking on the name. I'll check the top one to indicate the walking animation. Now it looks ready for exporting. We'll do file, export, and as a GLTF and or GLB model type. A great way to check if your model was exported correctly is to drag and drop it into Dom McCurdy's GLTF viewer. Here, I can see how the model visually looks along with checking the animations. 
Now let's hit an eighth wall. Here I have a joystick move-in project pulled up. I can click Clone Project to clone it into my workspace. Once the project is cloned, I can replace the current robot.glv model with my robot.glv model with the correct Mixamo animations I just added. Let's pull up my model and drag and drop it into my eighth wall project. We can then head to the components.js file, which has all the logic for what clip to play when the character is moving or stopped. I can set walk and idle for the specific animations that I want to play, which I've named in Blender. And with XR Web, we can set allow devices to any. This way we can test the experience on desktop 3D before we test it in AR. So here, when I drag the mouse, I can see that my character moves with a walking animation when walking and an idle when stopped. The animation is a little bit quick, so I'm gonna head back to components and change the speed up a little bit. We'll wait for the page to hot reload with our new changes. Now the character seems to be walking correctly. Another thing to note, if you don't see your model or it's being clipped out of the frame, is that Mixamo can sometimes cause the model to be extremely large or extremely small, so you may want to check your scaling options. And or set this no coal component to your character to make sure it's not being cold by the camera. And then you can see it in AR. Enjoy!